Hello everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day and today I would like to share a little unboxing with you guys. This is coming from another YouTuber, JD for EDC, I believe is his channel name. Also on Instagram and it's where I saw that this was posted. He was trying to, well not trying to, yeah, I believe he was pretty successful in purging some uh, units from his collection. Um, he's also an individual that reviews, does a lot of customizations, has just amazing content. I love watching his stuff and also has awesome pocket dumps on Instagram. So that's pretty cool. The unpackaging knife is going to be my Devo Knives Buzz. This is the one with the textured tie black scales and the Zerku tie backspacer. Uh, he has a very similar one. I uh, just, I believe in a different colorway and uh, I'm sure he's loving this thing just as much as I am. Uh, if you know, you know, this thing's a freaking beast. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into this guy. Hopefully I'm not cutting anything important. I doubt it. Um, and that's still the factory edge. I've been using it a lot, like a lot, a lot. Oh, the OEM on that is the best tech. And it's just gotten smoother and smoother. And thank you for the packing material. I don't actually need that. Oh, <laughs> I got stickers. I wasn't if that's expecting that. <laughs> cool, cool. Oh, there's two of them. Cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Um, I am going to put one on my lunchbox. Uh, one on my alcohol refrigerator, and then one on my sticker table, and then the other one I'll figure out something to do with it. <laughs> um, oh yeah, the knife, the important part. Oh, yeah, the box and everything. I thought it was just going to be the knife as it is. As you can see, this is a Civivi, and here we go. Of course, this is used. This is not brand new. Um, it was a pretty sweet deal, and he's not a guy that, like, hardly uses his stuff. Uh, and if he did, I'm sure he'd be completely transparent, but you know, that was the case. Of course, you get the little cloth, some candy, a uh, warranty card, typical Civivi sticker, Elementum sticker, and Civivi brand sticker. Also the little bag too. This is the Civivi Elementum button lock two, or Elementum two button lock, however you want to call it. This is not my first time handling this knife, and I didn't share this with you guys, but I actually bought this knife off of Amazon for my fiance, and she absolutely loves this thing. It's broken in extremely well. The pivot has gone loose many times, but um, after setting it with Loctite, it's fine. It's good to go. Um, no rattle. It, I've spine whacked it plenty of times, and you know what? This thing feels... Uh, almost just as smooth as hers was so I don't know how how long he actually owned this for it definitely doesn't feel gritty or anything weird um, it's actually quite nice taking a look at this edge that looks yeah that's the factory edge uh, so he probably just maybe stropped it uh, honestly this thing looks essentially brand new no marks on the pocket clip that I could see in this lighting and the G10 scales are absolutely clean and perfect. Honestly, this is, for all intents and purposes, a brand new unit. And uh, I got it for a little bit less than brand new price. But uh, the reason why I got this is because um, a viewer made a comment on one of my videos recently and said that they would think it'd be a good idea for me to make my own customization video. But the thing is, I'm not that tech savvy. I mean, I'm 24 years old. I don't do technology. Um, I do a lot of stuff with my hands, right? But I don't do computer. The computer does not do me and I do not do computer. I just, I didn't grow up that way, um, unfortunately. So, I mean, there's a lot of other people around my age that do all these like crazy intros and um, segues into, you know, the next one and they can fade out their videos and just do a lot of cool editing. And that's stuff that I would definitely love to do. But with the new job I have, I'm, I mean, dude, I'm working 70 hour weeks and pay is awesome. And I'm still at, um, you know, the very early stages of it. Um, but I essentially live at work now. And so I, I'm working a lot, I'm spending a lot of time. I come home, uh, cook, clean, have other responsibilities. And then like, if I have, a ounce of life left in my being i try to make some form of content 
or just basic maintenance on uh, some of the knives in my collection. But I really want to follow through with this idea. Um, there are a handful of people that um, have been very positive in, uh, in response to me making uh, customizations and stuff on some of my knives. Um, I recently got into anodizing, well, maybe not too recently, but it was another YouTuber that inspired me to do so. Let me just pull out some stuff that I've, you know, done. This is the uh, Bridgeport Knives version one, 395. This is the Cubist Blade Works version two. And I'll uh, get these a little bit up and close so you guys can see and this is a heavily customized and we have an anther don't worry about that guy he is no longer with us um and this is a monterey bay knives sea otter what else do i got in here a lot of other stuff i've anodized and customized and it's just it's so fun uh demco 80 20.5 you guys recognize that from uh comparison size knives also my base elementum um that is my first and only ever elementum that i've ever personally owned but the elementum is such a wonderful like non-knife person's knife it's so it's so basic that you don't what the hell it's so basic that you don't even have to be a knife enthusiast to understand that uh, simple and clean lines like this work and what i would like to do as a as a video for content, of course, uh, you guys will see this, but I will start with taking this apart, cleaning it if it really needs it, uh, probably not. And I'm gonna do as similar to this as possible. I'm gonna be doing a heavy acid stone wash just as I did this. This was originally the S35VN variant from Blade HQ. And this was one of the earlier times that I did a acid stone wash and I think it came up pretty good I didn't have to redo it or anything like that I got some pretty even uh marks on it so I, I like it I'm pretty happy with it um but I did learn the hard way that you should put something to protect the detent hole and the place where the bearings are at because a ferrochloric acid will eat away at the metal wow who would have guessed <laughs> Not me, I'm a freaking idiot and I didn't, I, I should have done more research in learning how to do that. I also did the same to the steel liners. As you can see, they're just slightly uh, shadow boxing the titanium scales that I have in it, which are also anodized and just slightly, slightly polished. Nothing like super crazy. You could see like my super bright reflective ass uniform that I still have on. Um, there's the aftermarket tie pocket clip that you can get from Amazon and they do come with, uh, with matching titanium T8 screws. So now the whole knife is T8, which is pretty sick. Um, typically when you buy a Civivi knife, their pocket clips are still T6, which is, eh, it's whatever, but having a T8, it's just a little bit more confidence when it comes to doing maintenance, uh, modifications and it just looks better overall so it's i suppose an aesthetic thing which is something that um you know falls into the category of you know being a knife enthusiast so that's the the idea here i'm gonna make segments of videos of me you know doing the process and then i'll try to put them together so it's not a 12 hour long video that it's gonna take about a year and a half to upload because i upload from my phone and not my laptop because i don't know how to do that either it is quite embarrassing um that i don't know how to do anything with technology um it's it's amazing that i even know how to make a freaking instagram post honestly but um so what i'm planning to do is acid stone wash all the uh the liners the blade put a sick edge on there um and then i want to show torching the steel components which are going to be uh the pivot body screws clip screws and i'm going to attempt on another pocket clip i don't want to mess this one up but i have like the original pocket clip that came on this, I'm gonna practice. I have a map gas torch right here <clears throat> that doesn't fit, but this thing is so cool and so fun to use. Uh, it's just this little lock and this, you know, trigger. Where the hell's the trigger? Oh, it is the trigger, I forgot. Yeah, there it is, there it goes. All right, let's not 
set my freaking garage on fire but uh yeah that's that's the idea with this i bought this because and i kid you not just this week i was planning to buy a uh, one directly from amazon like it, it was actually sitting in my cart <clears throat> and i saw this one uh, and it just so happened to be that he was selling one and it was a little bit cheaper and i was just like wow it was actually meant to be this is cool uh jd thank you so much i appreciate it i probably should have said a thanks a lot earlier in the video but here it is you know ten and a ten and a half minutes uh in uh but you know thank you for the sale i appreciate it this wonderful knife i very much enjoy the stickers they will go everywhere um and yeah that's it so look forward to some customization videos and i'm gonna try to edit and stitch them all together so they're I mean, I doubt they're going to be seamless, but I really want to start do, uh, showing you guys how I, you know, do stuff. So like this guy, this is, you know, heavily polished. This was originally, well, not heavily, heavily polished, but it's 3000 grit wet sand on both sides. And I got this kind of unique ombre blue to purple further down here. It's much more beautiful in person, very vibrant. Um, and of course it is all like oily and smudgy and it's, it, uh, that's not a knife that i use too often but you know there's that <clears throat> what else have i done um well, other crazy things that i've anodized um i actually acid washed this i didn't stone wash it because i wasn't comfortable with stone washing at the time and i just haven't taken it apart to do it again and i did put an edge on there so there's that um but these were originally just raw tie i did a bronze a little bit golder when it's like freshly cleaned and then this extremely vibrant uh blue it looks a, a smidge green but i assure you it is most definitely a very very vibrant blue um and then my wee esprit uh this thing uh, i did a kind of like a weird finish to the uh, it's a very experimental i don't know what the hell all this is um, yeah, I just, I mean, it looks kind of interesting, but I don't think I would want to recreate that. That just looks kind of weird. On this side, it's much nicer. But, you know, I also did, uh, polish and anodize the scales, the thumb studs, the backspacer, the clip, and it was fun. But, you know what, like, this was a, you know, very long process to get it to look like this. You got to be very clean and very precise with what you're doing any little marks any like stray hairs or oil on your fingers if you're not using gloves or if you didn't change your gloves properly between processes you know like you can like really fuck something up and just completely ruin it so i'm just showing you guys here just pulling out like all the stuff i've customized which is a lot at this point i don't even think i'm gonna be able to fit it all let's Let's do that. Let's try that. Let's, let me see if I could fit everything I have customized so far that has to deal with uh, tie and the blade. Yeah, we're running out of room. Uh, what else? Oh, we got this. This is a really old Gafco that I bought in the secondary and acid stone wash and then uh, dual tone um, anodized. So I did like a lighter gray and then I did a blue on top of that. So the iridescence I suppose is blue and then the hardware that is tie and the clip is a very deep, uh, deep blue. <laughs> I like the color blue. This, yeah, this is my favorite color. Uh, or teal, whatever you want to call it. What else? Oh, I have my... What is it? Oh, no, the hinder. I didn't do that. It actually came like that. No point in showing that off. Um, let's see. You know what? I think that's it. I do have my Sabenza, which uh, I think somebody was asking me about. Um, but yeah. So this was also a knife that I did some early practice on. So you can see that some of the scratches are a little bit bigger, a little bit inconsistent, but to redo this would be very easy. Just take it apart, um, seal the areas that you don't want to get 
uh, messed up by the acid. I also um, anodized the barrel spacer, the lanyard tube, and the scales, of course. And then dipped all the hardware in the ferrochloric acid to remove that sheen to them. And if you want to know what I mean by that is Chris Reeve knives, their hardware is typically polished. So if you take a look at my other one, the difference between it dulled it out. That's all it did. Um, that's what I was after. It may not be an aesthetic that you like, but it is, uh, I achieved what I was going for. I suppose that's all that really matters. So let's see if we can fit all these guys in here. But yeah, I, th I am pretty sure this is everything up to this point that is titanium that I have messed with. Um, there are a couple things on NAF sale. I think one or two things that I've anodized, but that's a different story. But yeah, this is it. Um, it's so much fun doing this kind of stuff, but at a certain point, it essentially devalues a unit because, um, you know, it's been tampered with, it's been customized, you know, it's been, you know, messed with and things like that. So, you know, this, you know, once upon a time, you know, could have been sold for like 500 bucks, but I'm probably better off keeping it than actually trying to get um, <laughs> even 75% of what I spent on it which I, I'm not planning to sell this anytime soon because it is actually a wonderful knife and it is broken in so beautifully. Just check that out, man. It's freaking sweet. For, for Sabenza, I think that's pretty darn sweet. Also, another area that, as you can see, like this is really early work um, in the jimping. I didn't clean out these jimps when I went to dip it in the acid. So when I did do the final cleaning and I took a little brush and I removed some of the gunk that was in there, it uh, revealed the uh, un-acid eaten uh, material and now it stands out a lot more. It looks, it just doesn't look good. But like I said, that is an easy touch up, but um, you know, it's a couple hour process to, to do everything. So yeah, in the future, uh, we'll look forward for um, customization videos. I'm gonna try to do some editing stuff and just uh, educate about that. If you guys have any tips, any ideas for future content, or if you guys know of uh, or have a, uh, a bug out by any chance, because I have one that has a lot of tie components. Um, the crossbar itself is from Flytanium. Um, the backspacer stone wash is from DNA Lasering. I got it on Etsy. The scales, they are from Flytanium. Um, this is a Lynch Northwest Deep Carry Pocket Clip. Uh, titanium, a thumb studs from Flytanium. All the body screws are titanium, but I'm pretty sure the screws that come with the Lynch Northwest uh, Carry Clip, I'm pretty sure those are steel, and I believe the pivot is still steel. So besides that, this is uh, almost a full titanium build i would love to you know to fully customize this if you guys have any idea color combos or different uh, tones that you think would work good let me know but with that being said once again thank you so much jd uh this thing is awesome it's gonna be fun to work on it i mean the elementum is such a you know, basic guy knife but it's it's popular for a reason because it's actually a good knife um so that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, uh, leave any comments you would like to. If you are subscribed, thank you so much. I most definitely appreciate your patience and support. I'm trying to get out as much content as I'm actually able to. Um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and consider subscribing because we have a lot of stuff coming up. We have a thousand subscriber giveaway, hopefully by next week, possibly the end of next week. Um, you need to be a subscriber and I'm still trying to figure out if I'm gonna do like the whole like comment and one video thing or how I'm gonna do it. Um, so I'm still trying to figure that out, but we have stuff coming your way. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.